Hi guys, it's Maria and welcome to today's video. For today, I will be reacting to Ricky Gervais jokes that would get you fired in 10 seconds. Why did the little girl fall off the swing? Oh no. Because she had no arms. <laughs> yeah, right? I'll leave you with one. Okay, all right. Ah! I think this whole video... will definitely belong to my Bunnymon 2 Instagram with the dad jokes. It's all about jokes. And if you get offended, then these jokes are not for you. One final story, right? It's another true story. If I say they're true, by the way, they are. I promise, they're all true. <laughs> and this is probably my favorite school story ever. It was 1976 again, so uh, I was about 14. And we had a kid in our class called Gary Masterman. And Gary oh, no. developed Tourette's syndrome, like every sentence of the swear word. And he had a tick, because we learned all about it in assembly. Gary was up there, all the teachers knew him, all the kids knew him. He was a popular lad, right? And um, yeah, ni nice guy, uh, Gary Masterman. But sometimes his tick seemed relevant. And I'll never forget, we were having this lesson with a young female teacher called Miss Wilkie. She was at the blackboard and she was doing those calling out <laughs> suggestions. I can't remember what it was about, but she'd go, um, Simon, what do you think? Yeah, that's good. Yes, that works, yeah. Brian, what do you... Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. And she went, Gary. He went, I'll finger you, miss. <laughs> and she just went, oh anyone else? Oh, my God! And she pointed to Sean Dixon and Sean went, yeah, I'll finger you. <laughs> Try and explain oh to someone God. every day what freedom of speech means, particularly in the context of comedy and particularly in the context of a joke. That a joke. Honestly, I think that freedom of speech should be a total pass in comedy and in jokes. People should not get offended when it is literally a joke. About a bad thing isn't as bad as the bad thing. It's not even necessarily condoning the bad thing. Yeah. It could be anti the bad thing. It depends on the actual joke. Yeah. And this woman said. You should never make jokes about food allergies. What? I should have left it, right? I, I sent back, I make jokes about AIDS, cancer, famine, and the Holocaust. Literally. Right? And you're telling me I should never joke about food allergies. Bish. Don't even dare. She's a white woman, okay? Modern white woman. She sent back, Yes, but the Holocaust didn't kill children. Well... <laughs> it did, didn't what? it? <laughs> it was horrible, the Holocaust. Some would say as bad as food allergies. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone have a pedo teacher no, when they were at school? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Round of applause for pedo teachers, yeah. No! No applause! <laughs> That's another thing. I think where people are now trying to be so politically correct, they're trying to outwoke each other. Soon someone's going to say, you can't say pedo anymore. It's a derogatory term. It offends people who are child addicted, right? <laughs> so you're going to have people going to the doctor going, doctor, I think I'm child addicted, right? And the doctor go, oh, you poor thing. How do you feel? I feel like I want to fiddle with kids. <laughs> that is one of the symptoms. <laughs> Don't oh my worry, God. sit down. We'll get you into a facility at taxpayers' expense, right? And we're, we'll wean you off children. Uh, how does that work, Doctor? Well, oh, no. you know, like when they give heroin addicts methadone, yeah? Well, we're going to start you on dwarves, right? <laughs> <laughs> it might work. It might... <laughs> my mum, she was the salt of the earth, but she just said what she wanted, Aww. right? And she'd do anything for you, but she was... Uh, Honestly, I feel like all of our moms or grandmoms or grand-grandmoms, if you lived the day to actually hang out with your grand-grandmother, that would be so cool. Okay, back to the story. I mean, like, all of them have literally no filter. It's like they were raised in a different era and for them what is offensive today, it's like, what? What do you mean? And of course, they're not going to change their ways. They're too old for that. I like to moan about it. So... Growing up, right, our next door neighbour, Mrs. Dawson, she was about 25 years older than my mum. So when my mum was 60, this old lady was already like 85, 86, and my mum was the last living witness to her existence. She lives alone and my mum did everything for her. Right? She went shopping for her, she did the housework, she went around, made so her nice. lunch and sat with her for a while. She went back, made her tea, and, uh, and this went on and on. I remember calling home once, my mum was like 70, and I went, oh, I called earlier, you were out. And my mum went, yeah, I was reading Dawson's. And I went, oh, how is she? And my mum went, oh, 
She just won't die, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a plane... Honestly? ...last year, OK, going from New York to L.A., OK? And me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, there was the aisle, and the I other love side, the there were these two <laughs> the quality of this video. Women, OK? Proper, proper, proper fat. One of them just got on and went, can I have a belt extension? Yeah, of course you can, you've earned it, right? So... Oh, no. Proper. In fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? Otherwise, we're just going to Canada. Do you know what I mean? Which... Oh, no! And one of them was even fatter than the other one, OK? And she was there, and she got on the plane with one of those takeaway buckets of fast food. Bucket! I mean, there's your first clue. When did that happen? When did fat people just give up? When did they go into a shop and go, oh, fuck it, just treat me like a farmyard animal, really? <laughs> Give me it in a bucket. In fact, just strap it to my fucking head and I'll just... Oh, no! A bucket? Really? You want your meal in a bucket? Yes. Right? So, she's there and she's chowing down, right? And I swear, she turns to her fat friend and says, this is the best fried chicken I've had all day. <laughs> but one thing that isn't ambiguous, whether it's nature or nurture, <laughs> is racism, right? No one's born Aww. racist. You've got to learn that shit, OK? And, OK, I don't want to divide the room. I'm not a fan of racism. Um, no, hear me out. I, 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 I don't care whether you're black, white, brown, European, African... I, you're all going, yeah, that's all right, Rick. Black, white, brown, European, African. What about the fucking Eskimos? Racist, right? <laughs> They're fucking weird, Rick. They are not weird, they're just different. They live in the snow. Yeah, that is their little house, the snow. So, right? Yeah. They wear a, they wear a dead sea lion for their clothes. Yes, that's their clothes, a dead sea lion, right? But here's the thing about racism, right? You drag one out of his little hole in the snow and peel him out of his sea lion outfit, right? And he's standing there naked. You take a closer look, he's basically a cold Chinaman. <laughs> I told oh, this joke. Oh, my God! <laughs> Did not expect that. Made sure the old people couldn't hear like that. I went, okay. okay. I'm not that old, Father, I can hear it. sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. This little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. This girl. In the park? Hello, daddy. Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? The man? Yeah, a man came along. And he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. <gasps> Whatever happened... None of it was your fault, OK, darling? None of it was your fault. But tell Daddy every detail. What happened? Um, he took me behind a tree so no one could see what we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, we'll make something up. No, 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 no. Too far? Not judging though, it's comedy, right? We said, you get offended. <laughs> that is your problem. Kinda too far! <laughs> oh. oh wait, it's not finished. When did when did Princess Diana cross the road? For so long now thinking about Because she wasn't wearing a seat belt. Is this haunting me? I wanna know why Can't the light shine right on us I'm a vegetarian because I love animals But I also love them on my plate Oh man I like my jokes to be accurate and my I like my jokes to be accurate and my targets to be fair So I was engaging these people I yeah. was saying, why is it transphobic? And they were saying, it's about a trans person. I said, well, that's ridiculous. That's like saying a joke about Bill Cosby is automatically racist. It depends on the joke. But I was talking to them. I'm willing to learn. Yeah. And I found out my crime was that I dead named her. Now, I'd never heard that term. What does dead name? Before, a day after the Golden Globes. Oh, and wait. Dead name is basically the name that you got when you got born before you transgendered. Once you transgender, you have the option to change your name. And then you go by that name. So everybody who calls you by your dead name, they really don't respect you anymore. Or they don't want to accept the fact that you're transgendered and you're this whole new person. Yay! I know what dead name is! That was saying her old name and even acknowledging that she used to be a man. Ooh. But she did. I... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
I saw him on the Olympic Games. It was... <laughs> It was the cattle, it was in everything. He was all over the place. It shot put and pole vault. Is, he won a medal. He was famous. He was on telly all the time. But, you know, a big, famous man with a huge... I don't know, but, I mean, I'm guessing he probably he's a big... But I've learned my lesson. Now, I'd never dead name her now. Now I know it's wrong. I'd never dead name her now. But, like, years ago, um, when, you know, she was a, a man, um, no, it was years ago, I'm saying, right? And, and she went to the doctor, right? And, uh, and knocked on the door, and the doctor went, Come in. This is years ago. I, I, I'm saying, <laughs> I'd never dead name her now, but this is like, this is like a flashback before anyone... Do you okay. know what I mean? So, come in. <laughs> and he went, he went, Hello, Bruce Jenner. Because that, that was his name then. The doctor, you know, this was years ago. And the doctor went, Oh, hi, Bruce Jenner, you big old... How you doing, boy, you fucker? How you doing? <laughs> You big old blunt. Whoa, how you doing, man? <laughs> Come here, you fuck. How you doing, Brucey boy? You all right? All right? And Bruce Jenner, because that was his name, this is years ago, right? So, Bruce Jenner went, yeah, not, yeah, not too bad, Doctor, yeah. Not too bad, right? And I was like, what can I do for you, Bruce? Yeah, fuck, uh, how you doing, boy? And Bruce Jenner went, because that, that was his name, Bruce Jenner went, <laughs> look at that. And they went, oh, come on, Bruce Jenner, you know the rules. He uses his whole name every time for some reason. I don't know why. Years ago. Come what? on, Bruce Jenner, you fucker, you know the rules. You can't bring your big old pole vaulting pole in here, mate, you know. And Bruce Jenner went, no, that's not my pole vaulting pole, that's my enormous penis. And they went, oh, right, yeah, seeing as it is your penis, you can bring it in here. But you should have left your shot puts outside. <laughs> And Bruce Jenner went, that, that, that was his name, for <laughs> 58 years, I think. <laughs> he went, uh, no, they're not my shot foot stop, they're my enormous testicles. That's where I keep my testosterone and my spunk and shit, right? And the doctor went, oh, yeah, that makes perfect, I'm a medical man and that you're... You're a big bloke. Oh, you fucker. How you doing, boy? You're a big... <laughs> you, you're big... And you would have a big old cock and balls. They're beautiful. That bit familiar. And I, and I, you know, no, but you must be very <coughs> proud of them, Bruce. Um, Bruce and I went, oh, this is going to surprise you, Doctor. I want to get rid of them. <laughs> and the doctor went, what? Why? Ah, oh, they get in the way. Get in the way of what? Uh, fucking driving, for one thing. <laughs> I mean, when you drive, you're splitting your legs a bit. Maybe not ma like, not really spreading a lot, but still driving. Hmm, interesting. One thing I don't suffer from. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Check out my second channel, Bodymon TV, and I also just started with an anime channel. So if you like anime and you are interested in anime, check out my bunny main channel, Bunny Plus Anime. Anime. <laughs> like I love doing that even though it's so cringe but yeah I upload there everything anime I just started uh, maybe by the time you see this video my first video is live ah but you can go and be one of the first subscribers I'm almost hitting 100 subs there it's just a teeny tiny channel this is between us all right guys have a wonderful day I love your faces and see you tomorrow with a brand new video bye peace Oh